Hi, I'm Louisa Higgins, and thank you for joining me for Easy Arts for Everyone. Today we're going to continue with an arts lesson that includes social and emotional learning. And it's based on the work of one of my favorite artists, Mark Rothko. And you should look him up online because he has some incredible work. And it's simply color blocks. And that sounds deceptively simple, actually. But what it means is he did these grand, really large canvases, and he used color. And what made them different and so appealing is he used different combinations of color and different intensities of colors. And when I first saw uh, one of his pieces in person in Washington, D.C., I was just mesmerized by it. I stood in front of it for the longest time. So we're going to have some fun with that. And what I'm going to do for my particular demonstration is... I'm going to pretend this is my piece of paper. So I drew it out here. And you can also do this. I kind of put a little line where I think I'm going to put my color blocks. So I'm going to do one here, one here, and one down here. And you notice they're um, different sizes. So, you know, they're different. This is medium, larger, and smaller. And I could even orient my paper this way if I wanted to. So it could be vertical or horizontal. It makes no difference. That's part of the artist's choice. And when I look at my colors, I'm wearing a very colorful dress. And so I just pulled out my box of paints, and this is acrylic paint, and so I'm going to use the colors that are my dress. So I'm going to use blue and orange and this pink. So I'll move that out of the way. And I like to work on a paper plate, so I'm going to put some of each of these colors just right on the plate. And I encourage students to think about how you're feeling today. I'm feeling a little bit sassy, so I like these colors. They're bright and they're fun, and they're going to be interesting together. And of course, that's totally up to the artist, what they're going to do. So I think for the biggest patch, I'm going to go with my blue. And I just have my assortment of brushes here. Again, any kind of brush will do for this. And this is acrylic paint. And I'm going to move it across the pa paper. Excuse me. And I just have my little lines as a guide. Ordinarily, I would do those lightly in pencil so that you wouldn't see them. And you'll notice I'm leaving a border around the edge. And that is also part of my design by not purposely filling that in. So this blue is a really strong color. And all colors are associated with emotions. And so blue is often thought to be the most creative color. People associate it with the water. It's also associated with creativity. And so it bears having a discussion with students about those colors and what they're related to. So I've got my blue there, and I have to decide what I want to do with pink and orange. So I really like orange and blue together. They're kind of a surprising combination. And orange is like the sun, and it's bright, and has a power to it. And it's unexpected next, next to the blue. So I'm going to put the orange up. And you can see how those are talking to each other, I like to say, the blue and the orange. I'm going to be careful not to smear them together. I want those areas to be distinct. And then for time's sake, I'm going to go down to the pink so you see what that looks like. And normally I would just clean my brush, but I'm moving it along, so I'm just going to use different brushes. So I'm going to put the pink down in here. So you can see how those colors work together. And it's really important that students paint what they're feeling and what colors that they're feeling. Because if you can identify what you're feeling, then you can manage that a little bit better. So you know, identifying is the first step. And there's many different ways you can do this. And I have some other examples. This is really fun. I've done this with even very young children. I did color blocking with construction paper. And what's fun about this is I started with the basic paper, which is orange. And then I just took paper and I ripped it straight across and glued that down over. And then here, I did a little black line with Sharpie. So that's done with paper and is really easy to do. I also did a smaller one with uh, a little canvas. And this has a glitter frame around it. And of course, you can orient this however you choose. And I even did a sample with watercolor. And you can see the colors are lighter and less intense, but I've got a blue and yellow. So this particular art form lends itself to many different variations, but I would keep the emphasis on what are your color choices, how does that exhibit how you're feeling, and how are you going to lay them out. No judgment. There is no right or wrong. This is goof-proof as an art lesson. It's fun if you're five. It's fun if you're 55. So I encourage you to put the music on, relax, and have fun with the social and emotional learning arts piece 
uh, a la Rothko. Thanks for subscribing and we'll see you next time.